Dr. Zachary Knight explain why death penalty is allowed in Islam. How do you want to say name, brother? My is Wallace Maigua. Wallace. Wallace, do you believe that there is one God? I believe there is one God. Do you believe Jesus is God? I believe Jesus is a messenger and son of God. Messenger of God, correct. Messenger of God and he is also the son of God. Son of God meaning messenger, no problem. But he is not, he is not God. My Bible tells me that he is the only begotten son of God. Ah, uh, uh, but if you read as I told you, brother, Wallace, I told you what you are quoting is from the Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16, which says, For, so God, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die but have everlasting life. Now if you read the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, revised by 32 Christian scholars, backed by 50 different corporate denominations, they say this word begotten is interpolation, is a fabrication. So if you say begotten son, it is a fabrication. If you say son of God, meaning a messenger of God, no problem. There's no problem with that. So if you believe he's a godly person, we verily believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is was the beloved of God, but he was not God, he was a messenger of God. I will beg to differ with you, Dr. Naik, but uh, I have my reasons. Uh, okay. Although that was not my question, I have two questions yes, of welcome. which I want to ask today. Yes, you're most welcome. Ask your question. The first question is regarding um, Islam okay. and Christianity. We all know that Christianity began or uh, commenced since 2000 years ago. As uh, well as uh, Islam commenced about 1400 years ago. <laughs> uh, would you be kind enough, sir, oh. to explain to me or uh, to anyone else who may have doubt how you believe uh, about this period since the, uh, the time of Christ, when Muslim uh, started. Do you believe that uh, these people who existed in that time will be judged, or uh, they are going to be the same as us who has come after Islam? The brother asked the question mm -hmm. that according to him, Christianity came 2,000 years back and Islam came 1,400 years back. Brother, you're wrong. Islam did not come 14 years back. <laughs> Islam is there since time immemorial. Time and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the founder of the religion of Islam, but he's the last and final messenger. Islam is there right from Adam, peace be upon him. Adam, Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. So you have a misconception that Islam came into existence 14 years ago. It's totally wrong. Quran was revealed 14 years back. Yes. But Islam is there since time immemorial. At the time of Moses, if you followed the teachings of Moses, peace be upon him, you would go to heaven. At the time of Jesus, if you followed the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you would go to heaven. Today, you have to follow the teachings of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And that was also meant by Jesus, peace be upon him. As I mentioned in my earlier answer, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hears shall he speak. He shall glorify me. So, brother, at the time of Moses, you have to believe in the teachings of Moses, peace be upon him. At the time of Jesus, right. if you believe in the teaching of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you are following <coughs> Islam. Moses was the messenger of Islam. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was the messenger of Islam. And the last and final messenger was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hope that clarifies the question, brother. Dr. Zakir Naik, please, can you tell me whether uh, parts of the Bible of which are speaking the truth or there are others which are lying or... Interesting question. This, you asked the question that can you believe the Bible is lying, speaking the truth, etc. We believe that Injil was the Vahi which was revealed to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. But the present Bible, it is a mixture. It contains part of the Wahi given by Almighty God to Jesus. It also contains the word of the prophet. It even contains word of historian. And I'm sorry to say, it even contains pornography. 
Subhan Allah. I do not agree the total Bible with the word of God. It is a mixture. What matches with the Quran, I've got no objection in agreeing that is the word of God. But the Bible even has got pornography. For example, Ezekiel 23. If I, if you pay me even a million dollar to read Ezekiel 23, I cannot read in the public. Ezekiel 23. It's nothing but pornography. Correct, brother? So I, I do not believe the total Bible is the word of God. The Bible says that Prophet Luth, he did zina, he did incest with his daughter. I cannot believe that a prophet of God can do incest no. with the daughter. Therefore, everything of the Bible is not the word of God. It is a mixture. It contains the word of God. It contains the word of the prophet. It contains the word of historians. It even contains pornography. No. Sorry. My final question, sir. Yes, brother. This is regarding capital punishment. Yes, brother. Of which is illegal in many countries of the modern world. Yes. This capital punishment, for me, if I would be asked, this is murder. And uh, I to know whether you believe that uh, Allah or my God, of whom I worship and I bow down before, He is the only one who has a right to take life, whether of a sinner or whether of a good person. Because um, I understand, and you earlier mentioned that it is punishable by death, according to the Holy Quran. Brother said that capital punishment most of the modern country is illegal, but in Islam there are certain capital punishment. Okay. And brother rightly said that only Almighty God has a right to punish. That's the reason only those crimes which Almighty God has given permission to kill is allowed. And I gave you an example that if someone commits rape, there is capital punishment. Brother, I'm asking you the question. Someone rapes your mother. Brother, I'm asking you a question. Someone rapes your mother and the rapist is born in front of you. And if you are made the judge, what punishment will you give him? What will you do? I will kill because I'm a human being. Oh, kill. Now you're saying capital punishment wrong. When someone <laughs> rapes your mother, you want to kill the rapist. Why? Double standards. You are a human being. I'm a human being. Allah is almighty God. He has told that certain crimes which are spreading corruption in the world, like raping, should be put to death. I agree with you. I have asked this question to thousands of non-Muslims. Hundred percent, all of them said we will put him to death. Some went to the extent of saying, I will torture him to death. How you said I will kill him. <laughs> Correct. You are a human being, I am Amazing. a human being. How dare somebody rapes your mother or my mother? I agree with you, brother. <coughs> this is the law of God because he is spreading corruption. So in this way, brother, there are certain crimes which Quran and the Sharia gives permission as capital punishment. If it is a punishment from God, we agree with it. You and I cannot put anyone to death unless it is permitted by Almighty God. Hope that answers the question, brother. Thank you so much, sir. You're most welcome, brother. Amazing. This is very interesting. You see, they have... Some Christians have selected, and I mean, let me say the Westerns have selected some parts of human life and they have compared it to Islam and used it to tarnish the image of Islam. But in America, they still have death punishment. Didn't America put some people into an electronic chair and executed them, electrocuted them? Is it not in their law? Some parts of the world. They injected little injection and then um, eventually killed the person. Some people put people to hanging. The type of crime that you commit will determine whether you deserve capital punishment or not capital punishment. It's all the same. And we thank Dr. Zachary Nike, I mean, for elaborating and answering this question very, very, very nicely. This is Janet TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum.